we're doing a cat nap build challenge, but I'm secretly gonna be using hacks to troll my friend. Using the command slash slash paste, I can instantly spawn in this massive cat nap. But little does my friend know, I'm gonna be filling up the entire bow with traps to break him. And now let's go check out my friend GE. And GE, what in the what are you doing? I'm about to light this ultra rainbow TNT. Are you ready, Bubbles? Wait, what? Don't light that. Don't light that. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna light it in three, two, one. Let's go. Ah! But Bubbles, what in the world are we doing today? We're gonna be doing a cat nap build challenge. Cat nap? That sounds super cool. But wait a second. What side are you gonna go on? The blue side or the green side? Well, looking carefully at both of the colors, I'm gonna go on the green side. The green side. That's what I Fine, GE, you know what? The blue side is better anyway. I don't know about that, Bubbles, but we only have 10 minutes to build this, so let's get started. Go, go! Now that GE can't hear me anymore, let's type in the command. And oh my god, yeah, our catnap build just spawned in. We're so ahead of GE right now, but it's time to put in some traps. And for my first trap, I'm gonna be putting in a fake entrance. Where should I put it? Hmm. I know, let's put it right in between catnap's necklace right over here. Let's put down some secret doors disguised as emerald blocks as the entrance. And because emeralds are GE's favorite, hopefully it'll lure him into our trap. For the fake entrance, I'm gonna be making an impossible parkour. We're gonna to start off the parkour with these springs that are gonna bounce him all the way up here. Let's see if it works and nice. And for the next few jumps, we're just gonna make it super duper easy because we want GE to fall for our trap. Add in a few easy fence jumps just like this. Get in some ladder action as well. Last but not least, the final spring jump into my trap. This might look like an ordinary emerald ore, but in reality, it's an emerald ore mine. When GE goes to step on it, it's just gonna explode. And since I don't wanna explode, I'm gonna test it out with this zombie right over here. And oh my goodness, that zombie literally just went flying. Just to make this parkour a little bit more believable, I'm gonna put a fake treasure at the end. Put out a little platform just like this, and then we could place down a chest with absolutely nothing inside. We'll even put down some podiums with some emeralds floating on top. And just like that, our fake entrance is completed. Make sure to stick around to see GE fall for my explosive emerald ore. But now, I wanna go check on GE to see how he's doing. I secretly placed security cameras on the other side of the competition, so let me just go on my camera monitor, and look at that, we can see GE building. Alright, just a few more blocks, and there we go, my catnap looks so good. What do you think of it, Mr. Giant? What the? Why is GE you talking to a giant. You like it? Me too. But little does Bubbles know, I'm gonna place a ton of traps around my build with this super secret treasure at the end. And we only have eight minutes left to build this, so this is gonna be perfect. Oh no, TNT? And wait, did he say we only have eight minutes left? I gotta get back to my build. We don't have too much time left, and since we already put in the fake entrance, it's time to put in the real one. And I think the best spot for it will be right in the middle of Catnap's massive gaping mouth. So let me just break out a few blocks just like this, and to make sure it's hidden, we're just gonna use some ghost blocks as the entrance. And whoa, look at that. You can't even tell that anything things there. Now let's go inside and start building our first official obstacle. For the first trap in my catnap, I'm gonna be making a Huggy Wuggy Laboratory. First, we'll build out the glass capsules for the Huggy Wuggies. There we go. All of them are complete. And quick, guys, to help me spawn in the Huggy Wuggies, hit that like and subscribe button in three, two, one. Thank you for subscribing. And ah, our Huggy Wuggies just spawned in. Whoa, they look absolutely terrifying. But now that they're all here, we can work on our trap. At the end of the room over here, there's gonna be two levers that GE could pull. Since the one on the right is right, the one on the left is gonna be a trap. If GE pulls the lever on the left, it's gonna release one of the Huggy Wuggies. Ah, what the heck? I can't wait to see GE get destroyed by Huggy Wuggy. But now that our trap is set up, we can put a secret iron door on this side so that if he pulls this lever, he can move to the next room. For the second trap, GE's gonna have to find a top secret password to pass it. To make it even more difficult, let's set the room to some bedrock. And look at that, now there's no way for GE to escape. The only way that he can get out is through this password protected door right over here. Let's set the password to 9999, and you might be thinking, Bubbles, how is GE gonna figure out the password? Well, there's just gonna be a whole bunch of chests scattered around the room, and only one of them will hold the secret password. I think the perfect spot for the correct chest is right over here in this corner. So let's just open it up and put the password inside. GE's gonna have to look super closely if he wants to be able to find it. And on top of that, he better not open up this trap chest. Because if he does, it's going to spawn in a charge creeper and it's going to explode him. Ah! But just like that, our scavenger hunt room is completed. For the next obstacle in my build, GE is going to have to fight Boxy Boo. So let's build out the room real quick. And now we'll place down some super secure iron bars to make sure that Boxy Boo doesn't escape. There we go. And now help me out, guys. Comment Boxy down below to spawn him in. Three, two, one. Let's go. And look at that. Boxy Boo just spawned in. And let's make this level just a little bit harder by spawning two more. Oh my. I have no idea how GE is going to be able to defeat them. To give him a fighting chance, we're going to give him some gear to fight with. But the twist is he can only get the gear by pressing the correct button. And because blue is the best color in the world, it's going to be the correct answer. If he presses it, it's going to open up a secret door just like this. Behind the door, there's going to be a chest with all of his gear. He's going to get a full set of silver armor and a silver sword. And I'll even throw in some golden apples because I'm nice. With the blue button 
completed, we're gonna have to think of a trap to punish him for pressing the green one. I have just the perfect idea. Let's put a command block right here. And now if GE presses the green button, he's gonna be teleported into the room with the boxy boos. What the heck? Oh! But just like that, and our boxy boo fight room is completed. I have a super cool idea for my next trap as well. But before I build it, I wanna go troll GE real quick. Before the competition, I installed a morph mod that lets me transform into anything. So to prank GE, I'm gonna be morphing into boxy boo. Come on, let's just morph real quick. And look at that, I look exactly like him. But let me first break out a few blocks in a wall just like this. And we can see GE building. My catnap's turning out so good. I'm almost finished. Wait a second, he's almost finished. We gotta do this fast. Let me just fly up to him real quick. And then just give him a little punch. Wait a second. Why am I taking damage? And oh my god. Is that Boxy Boo? <laughs> I'm Boxy Boo and I'm here to destroy your build. Wait a second. You're here to destroy my build? You're more like evil Boxy Boo. Evil Boxy Boo? Does that mean you're not going to let me destroy your build? Uh, yeah. There's no chance you're destroying my build. How dare you try to stand up to me, GE? Now you're going to have to face the wrath of Boxy Boo. Wait a second. What the heck? <laughs> And quick, guys, while GE's busy respawning, let's just go in our inventory and grab a bazooka. And then let's just blow up his build. Run, run, run. And hold up. What was that sound? Oh, no. I think he noticed it. Oh, no. What just happened to my build? Was it you, Boxy Boo? Get over here. Ah, run away. Run away. This is super bad. And we only have five minutes left to build this. So we gotta hurry up. Haha. -ha. And wait a second. Did he say five minutes? We gotta quickly get back to our build. Let me just cover up this wall real quick and morph back into bubbles. And let's go. I had no idea we only had a few minutes left. We gotta build this fast. For this next obstacle, GE's gonna have to get across a pit full of sharks on an invisible pathway. Let's build the pit first just like this, and now we can fill it up with a whole bunch of water and some super deadly and hungry great white sharks. I definitely would not want to be messing with any of these guys. But now that our sharks are spawned in, we can start building this invisible pathway. And we're just gonna add some twists and turns into it to make it a little bit more difficult. We'll even add some gaps in between so he can't just walk across. That looks good. And you might be thinking, how in the world is GE gonna get across if he can't even see the pathway? Well, on the roof above the pathway, I'm gonna add in some sea lanterns that will lead his way. If he follows these sea lanterns, it'll lead him to safety. Let's line the rest of them up, and just like that, he can follow the light and make it across safely. Let's put a door down over here as the exit, and oh no, we only have two minutes left. I gotta quickly build this next trap. For the next obstacle, GE's gonna have to fly a jetpack. Let's put a chest down on the platform over here with a jetpack and helmet inside. Cause guys, remember, safety first. But now that that's all set up, we can start building the rings that GE's gonna have to fly through. These rings are not gonna be too big, so he's gonna have to be very precise with his flying to make it through. There's the first one completed and then let's put another one right over here and two more for the rest of the course there we go and look at that our rings are completed i'm actually curious how difficult this is so i'm actually gonna grab the jetpack and try it out myself all right come on let's start flying and oh my goodness this is so hard to control i can barely even make it through the ring and i think it's malfunctioning what's going on ah! i have no idea how the jetpack malfunctioned there but uh don't tell GE. Make sure you stick around to see if GE's jetpack malfunctions or if he can make it through. If GE somehow makes it through, he can make it to the last and final obstacle. For the last and final obstacle, GE's gonna have to pick if he wants the diamond treasure or if he wants the stinky emerald treasure. Let's go ahead and put chests at the end of each hallway just like this. And come on guys, literally look at me. We already know which one's gonna be correct and which one's gonna be wrong. Because the emerald side is super duper stinky, we're gonna put a trap over here. I added two command blocks under this trap chest and now when GE goes to collect his prize, it's just gonna break the blocks under him and he's gonna fall but i think instead of falling all the way down there it would be way funnier if he fell in some lava spikes so let me just build out a little room and cover the floor with a whole bunch of these super hot lava spikes i can't wait to see ge's reaction when he falls down there it's gonna be absolutely hilarious with the trap emerald side completed we can give him his actual prize on the diamond side and we're gonna give him a whole bunch of green crystals and poisonous potatoes his favorite things look at that i even added some emeralds inside to make him even happier but just like that my catnap build is completed and look at that the timer went off as well. Now let's go meet up with GE and check out each other's builds. Hey GE and wait a second, where are you? Ah! <laughs> I can't believe I scared you like that. What the heck, GE? How could you do that? I don't know, but now the time's up. Whose build are we gonna look at first? Mine or yours? Well, I think it's always good to save the best for last so we can look at yours first. I don't know what you're talking about, Bubbles. My build's definitely the best. Check out my catnap build. And wait a second. It's actually pretty good. But why in the world is his tail so long? Uh, cause catnap has the biggest tail in the world, remember? I don't know about that one, GE, but how in the world do I even get in your build? It's super easy, Bubbles. I put the engines in your favorite color. 
color. With my favorite color, wait a second, GE. This was so obvious. It's literally right here. Yup, you found it, Bubbles, and now we can go inside. And GE, what in the world is this? Welcome to my build, Bubbles, and you're gonna have to choose between the water bridge and the lava bridge. Well, looking at both of these bridges, the lava seems super duper dangerous. I think I'd rather take the water route. Good choice, Bubbles. Let's see if you make it. I will. Let me just walk across and, uh, wait, wait a second. Are those sharks? Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> what the heck, GE? I thought they were little fishies, but they're actually sharks. Yup, and they just ate you alive. Oh my goodness. Does that mean I have to go through the lava bridge? Yup, good luck, Bubbles. All right, let me just take this super slow and steady. Come on, I don't want to fall. And look at that, I made it. Nice job, Bubbles. And now that you made it through my impossible trap, you can finally open up your prize. I'm getting my prize already. Well, let me just open up this chest and... What the heck? Haha. <laughs> Are you serious, Rainy LGE? I thought that was supposed to be my prize. Did you really think you made it to the end? Of course not, Bubbles. This is the fake entrance. The fake entrance? I should have known. I guess I gotta go find the real one now. Is it in Catnap's nose over here? Nope. Nope. Is it in his big yellow necklace? What the? Nuh uh uh. GE, I can't find this entrance anywhere. Can you please tell me where it is? Hmm, I guess I'll give you a hint, but only under one condition. And what condition is that, GE? Everyone watching the video, still like and subscribe right now. Like and subscribe? Guys, please. Please help me out. I really want to know where this real entrance is. Hit that like and subscribe button in three, two, one. Thank you for subscribing. All right, GE, they all liked and subscribed, so now you have to tell me where it is. Wait, what the? That's so unfair, but I guess I'll show you where it is. Follow me. And I don't know you missed it, Bubbles, because it's literally in his arm right over here. What the? This is so hidden. How could I have known? But now that I'm inside, what in the world is this? If you want to make it to the end, you're going to have to get past my lava parkour. A lava parkour? This seems really dangerous, but these jumps look super duper easy. We'll see about that, Bubbles. Can you make it to the end? Well, let me just get a running start with my super professional professional parkour shoes and come on let's go and uh uh, uh what the heck ah! <laughs> uh gee can we both just forget that happened uh no i'm never gonna forget that bubbles but you still have another try so let's see if you make it all right this time i'm actually gonna make it through let me just make this jump here and then bounce on this spring over here and look at that i'm bouncing on this block g nice but can you make it far enough to go on this spring i guess we'll see come on and no, I couldn't make it. Haha, <laughs> you're gonna have to be faster than that, Bubbles. All right, I got this. Let me just make these jumps just like this. Come on, and let's go. I'm making it through. Good job, Bubbles. You got one more jump left. All right, let me just bounce on this last blue block. And I did it. Let's go. And here's a button that says teleport to the next room. So let's go. Whee! And uh, GE, what is this? You're gonna have to choose between door one or door two. Door one or door two? Well, looking carefully at these doors, I think door one is gonna be the correct one. All right, so let's see what's inside. Come on. Please be something good. Please be something good. Let's go. And wait, is this my treasure? Yep, you finally made it. So open it up. Oh, yeah. Let me just open it up real quick. And wait a second. Are those dinosaurs? Oh, me, GE. They're eating me. Ah! Get them, dinosaurs. Get them. No, 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 no. Are you serious, Rainy on GE? I thought door one was the treasure. Of course it's not, Bubbles. But you still have the second door. So are you going to open it? Uh, I'm kind of scared what's behind it, GE. Are you sure it's not a trap? I promise you, Bubbles. Let's see what's inside. All right, fine, GE. I'm trusting you. Let me just open up this door and walk in. And wait. Wait, is that a spring? Yup, and it's super bouncy. All right, let me just see what's on top here. And wait, it's to teleport to the next room. Let's go. And whoa, GE, what is all of this? These are some personal shrinking devices, and you're gonna have to choose between the blue tunnel and the green tunnel. The blue or the green? Well, because blue is the best color in the world, I think I'm gonna go through the blue one. So let's take out our shrinking devices, and whoa, I'm super tiny now. What the heck, GE? Look at you, you're so short. What the heck, Bubbles? Well, why don't you become tiny? I bet you'll be even shorter than me. I bet I'll be way taller than you. Let me just shrink down real quick. And wait a second, GE. We're literally the same height. That's super funny, Bubbles. But now that we're tiny, we can see what's in the blue tunnel. Sounds good. Let me lead the way because I think there's gonna be some super cool diamonds. All right, come on. Let's see where it takes us. And wait a second, GE. Where did I just fall down into? Get him, Silverfish. Get him. Ah, what the heck? Why are there so many Silverfish down here? Ow, ow, ow. Are you serious, Rainy on GE? What the heck was that? There's no way you just fell for that, Bubbles. So Silverfish just ate you up. I can't believe you wouldn't make the blue one the correct answer because let's be real ge blue is better than green uh no it's not green's the best color of all time i don't think so ge it still reminds me of vegetables wait what you don't like vegetables here bubbles take some lettuce ew what the heck get that away from me <laughs> those are some huge lettuces well you only have one more option
option left, the green tunnel. So let's see what's inside. All right, come on. Please be something safe. Please be something safe. And hey, wait a second, GE. Where are we? Welcome to my dropper bubbles. And you're gonna have to choose which side you're gonna go on. Choose which side I'm gonna go on while I see some water right over there. So it's gotta be safe. Let me just change back to regular size real quick. And let me just jump inside the water. Let's go. And wait a second. Why am I taking damage? Ow, ow, ow. Haha, <laughs> there's no way you just fell for that, Bubbles. That was some fake water. What the? That was super painful, just like some lava. But now looking at my three options left, there's literally two lava and one slime. And from what I recall, slime is super bouncy, so it should be safe. All right, so are you gonna make it? It's gonna be super fun to bounce on. Let's go. And... What? Haha. <laughs> Gee, why in the world was that slime not bouncy? Because that wasn't actually slime. It was ghost blocks. Oh my gosh. No wonder I fell right through them. But how am I supposed to get down now, Gee? There's literally two lava. I don't know, Bubbles. You're just gonna have to figure it out. Well, I guess I do want my prize. So, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. I think I'm gonna jump in this one. Come on, come on. And wait, why am I burning? Haha. Ah. <laughs> See, I told you, Gee, lava is not safe to jump in. Well, you don't really have a choice anymore, Bubbles. You have to jump in the lava this time. The lava again, but I burned. Can you please give me another way to get down? Uh, fine, Bubbles. I guess I'll put some slime blocks over here. Wait, some slime blocks? Thank you so much, G. I'm coming. And, oh, G. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. I thought I was literally dead there. Haha, <laughs> of course not, Bubbles, because this is fake lava. Whoa, that's super duper cool. But now that you made it through my dropper, we can move on to the next room. Oh, yeah. And, uh, G, is this just a hallway? Yup, since the dropper was super hard, I decided to make this room really easy. You just have to open this chest. What the? That's Super nice of you. Let me just open this up real quick. And whoa, a minigun and a bunch of bullets. I'm looking super duper cool. You look really swag, Bubbles. But now we can make it to the end. Oh, yeah. And wait, is that a blaze? Oh, no. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Let me use my minigun real quick. And let's go. Haha. <laughs> what the heck, GE? I'm literally at three hearts right now because of you. I don't know what you're talking about, Bubbles. Maybe you just like spawned in or something. Yeah, I have no idea how that blaze spawned in. But it better not have been you. Of course not, Bubbles. That door's literally right over here. Sounds good. Let me just walk up to the door and uh wait a second is that a skibbity toilet get him skibbity get him what the heck they're so big and no i died <laughs> let me just keep getting rid of them and what the heck gee they just keep multiplying yep the skibbity army is super huge can you beat them let me just mow them all down like this and i think their numbers are decreasing let's go let me get rid of all these small ones over here real quick and wait a second why is there another big one you got this bubbles get them come on skibbity dub 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 no no and just like that i got rid of all the skibbity toilets that was super scary, but now that you got rid of all the skibbities, we can move on to the next section. Let's go! And wait a second, what is this, GE? Welcome to my racetrack. You're gonna have to use this motorcycle to dodge all the spikes. A motorcycle? I don't even know how to ride one. Well, it should be easy enough. Can you make it? Let me just take it slow and steady around these spikes. Come on! And wait, GE, look, I'm already almost at the end. Good job, Bubbles. You just got one more turn left. And look at that, GE. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. You're super good at driving, Bubbles, but now we can open up these doors to go to the next section. And, oh, uh, G, 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 what, what is that? This is a mutant hoggling, and you're gonna have to fight him. Wait, what? How am I supposed to defeat that thing? Well, you still have your minigun, right? So I'm gonna drop the walls in three, wait, 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 two. Wait, no, 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 don't. G, first of all, my minigun's almost out of bullets, and I'm gonna need more than just that to beat him. Fine, I guess I did put some items inside this chest, so if you open it up, you can get your items. All right, let's just see what's inside. And are you serious right now, G, is password protected. Haha. <laughs> what do you mean, haha, G, tell me the password. There's a ton of buttons around this room, and I hit the password on one of them. Well, now that you say that, I do notice all the buttons. So let me just start pressing every single one of them. Come on, give me the password, give me the password. And wait a second, GE, there's literally a beautiful blue one right over here. I don't know if I'd call it beautiful, Bubbles, but I guess you can press it and see what's inside. It's definitely beautiful, and I'm sure it's gonna give me the password. Let me just press it, and... Uh, uh, GE, help me! Ah! <laughs> did you really just make that teleport me into the cage? Of course I did, Bubbles, because blue is the smelliest color in the world. What the? That is not true. Let me smell it. Oh, it smells so good. Are you sure about that, Bubbles? Ew, this thing stinks. What the heck, GE? Well, if it's not the blue one, then it has to be one of these buttons over here. Come on, come on. And are you serious right now, GE? I just noticed this green one. Yep, it looks super beautiful. Are you gonna press it? Oh my, I should have known that you would have put a green one down. Let me just press it real quick. And wait a second, a little piece of paper fell down. And it looks like it has the password on top. Let me tap it into the chest real quick. Four, three, two, one. And whoa, a whole bunch of diamond armor, golden apples, and a poison sword. GE, I'm looking extra drippy 
me right now? You look super cool, but now that you have all your gear, I'm gonna drop the wolves in three, two, one, fight! Come on, come on! Mutant Hoglin, bring it on! He's throwing you up super high right now. But I'm doing a whole bunch of damage to him with this poison sword. Are you gonna beat him? Oh, wait a second, I'm getting really low. I gotta eat this golden apple. Come on, come on! And oh yeah, I'm back in it. And whoa, looks like you defeated him. Let's go! And I still have four golden apples left. That's super cool, Bubbles. And he even dropped this tusk. Ew, what the heck? Get that away from me! Haha! <laughs> but now that you killed the Hoglin, you're gonna have to make the most important decision of your life. Are you gonna choose the emerald treasure or the diamond treasure? The emeralds or the diamonds? Well, you already know me, GE. I love diamonds way more than emeralds, so I'm gonna go down the diamond side. Alright, so let's see what's inside. I'm sure it's gonna be stacks and stacks of diamonds. Come on! And, uh, uh, GE, what, what in the world is that? Is that a flying bug? Ah! I don't even know what that was, but he got you super good. What the heck, man? And there was nothing even in the chest. Yup, but you still have one more option left. The emerald treasure. Uh, uh, gee, I don't think I want to go in the emeralds. Really, dude? Emeralds are amazing. No, they're not. They're literally green. Oh my gosh, Bubbles. Well, I literally put your treasure inside of here, so you better open it up. Wait, my actual treasure? Uh, fine, GE. I'll walk on it. Ah! Uh, let's go! And come on, this better not be a prank. Whoa, it's a whole bunch of diamonds and rotten flesh. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Wait a second. Why are you actually eating it? Get out of here! Ah! Well, gee, now that I checked out your build, can you please check out mine? Of course, Bubbles. Let's go. Whee! When can I turn around? You can turn around in three, two, one. Turn around. All right, so let me see. And whoa, what the heck is this? This is my amazing and beautiful catnap build. This thing is huge. How in the world did you build this in 10 minutes? Because I'm the world's best Minecraft builder. I guess you are, Bubbles. This build's amazing. But wait a second. How do I even get inside this thing? I'll give you a little hint, GE. It's the same color as your shirt. The same color as my shirt, then green. But hmm, I don't see any green around this build. Look a little bit closer. All right, so let me see. And oh, there's some green doors on top of his necklace. Good job, GE. Now that you found it, you can walk inside to the first official trap. And oh my gosh, this parkour looks super scary. Yep, it is super scary, but it also has your prize at the end. Wait a second, are those emeralds? I'm totally gonna make it now. Let's go. Let's see if you can make these jumps. All right, so I just have to go on top of these beautiful green fences. And can you make it up these ladders. Oh, uh, yeah, I totally can. Let's go. Wait a second. You're making it through so quick. Of course I am, Bubbles, because I'm a parkour pro. So now I just have to make this last jump and then I can get my treasure. What the heck? <laughs> Are you serious right now, Bubbles? Why did that block just explode? Because you just jumped on an emerald or mine. Oh my gosh, that's so unfair, Bubbles. Does that mean this is the fake entrance? Yep, and that also means you're gonna have to go find the real one now. Oh no. Maybe it's inside of his eye and no. Nope. Or maybe it's inside of his super giant tail and oh my. No, no, no. Bubbles, I can't find this entrance anywhere. Can you please give me a hint? Fine, GE, I'll show you not where it is. Are you sure about that, Bubbles? Uh, 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 wait, GE, put that away, please. Stop, stop, stop. Ah! Fine, GE, I'll tell you where it is. Just follow me. Let's go. And I don't know how you didn't look here, GE, but it's right inside of his mouth. I totally could have found that, Bubbles, but I guess we'll just walk inside and whoa. Are these a bunch of huggy wuggies? Yep, welcome into my huggy wuggy laboratory. You're gonna have to pick one of these levers to make it to the next room. Your huggy wuggy laboratory? This looks super scary, but looking at both of these levers, it couldn't be the right one because the right one's literally right. So I'm gonna choose the left one and wait a second. Is that a huggy wuggy? Get out of here. You just spawned in a huggy wuggy. He looks super angry. Ah! Huggy Wuggy, get him! Oh no, I'm gonna die! Haha, <laughs> GE, you just picked the wrong lever and released one of the Huggy Wuggies. Are you serious, Rainio? That was super unfair, but I guess there is the right lever left, so let me just open it and whoa. What the heck is this? What do you mean, what is this? Just go through the door to the next room. Hmm, I guess these chests kind of threw me off, so let me just open it up and... Really, dude, why is there a password? Haha, <laughs> I wouldn't make it that easy for you. The password is hidden in one of these chests. One of these chests? But there's so many! Then you better get started, GE. All right, so I guess we'll just start opening all of these up and wait a second. Really, dude? Ha <laughs> ha! That was super unfair, but I guess I'll just open up all of these chests and see what's inside. You better hope there's not another creeper. Yeah, I hope not. That caught me out of nowhere. And wait a second. I think I just went through all these chests, but there's no password. You might think you went through all of them, but did you really, GE? Well, I think so, Bubbles. I went through this one. I went through this one. I went through this one. And I went through this. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is no use. There's gotta be another one around here. Well, maybe I should tell you to think outside the box. Or should I say look outside the box? Look outside the box? Well, hmm. 
there's gotta be another chest around here. Let me just look on all these walls and wait a second. There's another one right over here. Yep, I have no idea how you missed that, GE. So let me just open it up and whoa, the code is 9999. I gotta hurry up. Go, go, go. Let me just type it in and there we go. And wait a second. What the heck is this? Welcome to the Boxy Boo fight room where you're gonna have to fight two Boxy Boos. Oh no, there's more Boxy Boos. Please don't be evil again. Evil? What are you talking about, GE? There was this Boxy Boo that blew up my build earlier and it was super scary. What the GE? Stop making up stories. That never happened. No, it totally did. I, I swear. Yeah, yeah, whatever, GE. Well, are you ready to fight? I'm gonna drop the wall. No, 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 no. Don't drop the wall. But wait a second. What are these buttons? Oh, yeah. Now that you bring that up, one of these buttons is gonna give you the gear to fight with. But which one are you gonna pick? Well, I have a choice between the stinky blue button and the beautiful green button. So I'm gonna press the green one. Let's go. And oh, no. The boxy boos are attacking me. <laughs> are you serious right now, Bubbles? Why did the button kill me? Because green is a super smelly color. So it obviously would be the wrong one. I don't know what you're talking about, Bubbles. Green is the best color. But hmm, I guess I'll have to press the blue button so let's see what's inside and whoa they just open up this door yep and there's a chest right inside all right so let's see what's inside of it and nice i just got some silver armor a silver sword and a ton of golden apples let's go now i'm super ready to fight boxy boos bring it on sounds good ge i'm gonna drop the walls in three two one fight let's go get them boxy boos get them and i already just got one this fight is a piece of cake hey, wait a second how did you just beat them that quick because i'm built different bubbles I guess those boxy boos weren't that evil after all. No, no, no. I'm not satisfied with that. Fight them more. Ah, what the heck? Get them, get them, get them. And wait a second. They can't even touch me. That was super easy. Oh my goodness. What the heck, GE? I guess the gear I gave you was way too powerful. Or maybe those boxy boos were too weak. But now I'm gonna open up this door to go to the next section. GE, welcome to my shark pit room where you're gonna have to figure out a way to get across this super dangerous shark pit. Whoa, these sharks look super dangerous and ow, how did they already hit me? What the I guess you got too close to the water. That was super scary, Bubbles. So there's gotta be a way to get across this pit. Yep, I mean, you could try making this parkour jump. All right, so let me just try making it across and... Really, dude? I just died. There's no way you just tried to make that jump. It's literally impossible. Are you serious right now? Well, hmm, there's gotta be another way to get across. There is a weird design on the roof over here. Yep, but what could that mean? Hmm, let me just try walking across and whoa. I'm literally floating on top of the water right now. No way, you just figured it out. All right, so let me just jump across and nice. Be careful not to get eaten by the sharks, GE. I got this, Bubbles. Let me just make this final jump and I made it. Oh yeah, you got some good brains, GE. You figured it out. I guess I am 900 IQ bubbles, but let me just open up this door and wait a second. What is this? Welcome to the best part of my build, the jetpack course. You're gonna have to be able to fly a jetpack through all of these rings. Well, that's gonna be a piece of cake because I'm a jetpack professional. So let me just open up this chest and whoa, I have a jetpack in this green helmet. Yep, I made sure to give you a helmet because safety first, GE. Of course, bubbles. And now I'm feeling ready than ever. Let me just turn on the engine and whoa, this thing's super fast. Yep, it's pretty hard to control. So can you make it through the rings? I totally can, Bubbles. Let me just make it through this one and then make it through this one. And oh no, what is happening to me? This jetpack's getting out of control. What the heck, GE? You're going so fast. I'm going down, Bubbles. I'm going down. Ah! That must have been super scary, GE. You're gonna have to keep the jetpack in control. That's gonna be super difficult, Bubbles. But you know what they say, never back down, never give up. Let me just make it through this ring and then through that ring. What the? You're doing amazing. And now there's just one more ring left. Can you make Make it through i totally can let's go wow GE, that was some really smooth flying your second try but now that you made it through all of these rings you can open up this door and now you're gonna have to make the biggest decision of your life do you want the diamond treasure or the emerald treasure the diamond or the emerald treasure well obviously you want the diamond treasure wait what just kidding emerald is way better Whew, you had me scared there for a second ge but now that you chose the emerald side you can open up this chest and collect your prize all right so let's see what's inside and wait a second why is there a bunch of spikes hot 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 <laughs> There's no way you thought the emerald side was gonna be the right one. It's super stinky. I don't know what you're talking about, Bubbles. Emerald's the best bulk of all time, but I guess I have to go inside the diamond treasure. Oh no. Yep, you do, and you should be excited to do so, because diamonds are actually the best. That sucks, Cat Bubbles, but let me just open up this chest real quick and whoa. There's a bunch of emeralds, green crystals, and poisonous potatoes. It's all for you. I'm feeling richer than ever. Yeah. Well, GE, now that we went through each other's builds, which one do you think is better? Well, looking carefully at both of our builds, I think that mine is better. What the? Look how short yours is. Mine is way better. Are you serious, Raniel? Right then who wins? Hmm, I guess we'll have to let the comments decide. Everyone comment GE. No, everyone comment Bubbles. Ah!
Yeah. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. And if you want to see another one of Bubbles and I's adventures, then click the video on screen. Go click it, click it, click it. Bye. Bye. Are you sure you do know? Ow.